Hey guys, I'm Rosa Vane, and welcome back to another episode of Zero Escape 999, or Zero Escape 9 Hours, 9 People, 9 Doors, or 9 Persons, rather. Uh, last episode, we basically went through to the cargo room. Uh, we tried to solve some bits and pieces of the puzzle, but we went to some dialogue and such and such, and uh, yeah, like, got to know about more about Santa's little problems, and uh, what else? some other issues that relates to June, I guess, but otherwise, it's, yeah, it's just a bunch of random stuff. So we're, we're kind of left to put the cards into the box to unlock whatever's inside the box, because apparently Ace cannot see with his eyes. But yeah, we're still in the puzzle sequence and we're trying to get out, of course. Finally, Tolinosatamanotokonokado,Kubanosrotoesashkomeba。あ、開いた。なんだこれは。9本のピン。うん。ま、とりあえず取っとくか。I think this is for that one thing at the top with the with the power looking thing. So yeah, we're going to have to go up there, I guess. <coughs> Here. It's some sort of boxy device. Yeah, so this thing right here. There are six holes here, and it looks like the pins I just found would be perfect fit for them. That's the one you found in the nine boxes, right? Well, why don't you just try it? Alright, let's see what happens. I think two, four, six would go here in the top part, and... 357 on the bottom part. Well, some of them lit up. Yeah, and 3 and 6. I wonder if there's some kind of rule that determines which lights goes on. Well, I put the 2 and 4 and 6 pins on the top part, and 357 pins on the bottom. I'm guessing we have to like solve it with digital roots on the top pins, I guess, in a way. Hmm. You think maybe it's you think it maybe is the digital root? The digital root. Two plus four plus six equals twelve. The digital digital root of twelve is three. Therefore light three is turned on. Three plus five plus seven equals fifteen. The digital root fifteen is six. Therefore light six is turned on. Makes sense, right? I see. The light that matches the digital root on the pin inserted on the top and lower parts will light up. So that's how it works. Well, there's one thing, one other thing I'd like to check. Well, if he wants to try, he's certainly welcome to. So, he put in 1, 2, and 3 pins on the top and 6 and 7 and 8 on the bottom. Oh! They turned off. 6 plus 7 plus 8 equals 21. Digital root 21 is 3. Therefore, light 3 turns on, turns off. 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 6. Digital root is 6. Therefore, light 6 turns off. Oh, I get it now. If the digital roots for the pins you inserted is the same as the number on the lights that are lit, those lights turn off. Yeah, looks like that's the trick. Alright, now we know how it works. You want to give it a try? Yeah, uh, you mean you know what we're supposed to do with these lights? Well, no, but I figured we could try and see if we can turn them all on, you know? I figured something is going to happen if we had managed that. Turn on all the lights. Huh. Okay, Junpei, let's make sure we know how to, how this works, alright? How? Why are we... Why are you telling me how, to, how this works? I can kind of tell how it works already. <clears throat> pick one of the six holes, then pi pick one of the pins in your hand and insert them into the hole. Keep it up until all six of the holes are filled. Once all holes are filled, the lights with the numbers that correspond to the digital roots of the pins in the upper and lower parts will turn on. However, if a digital root com corresponds to a light that is already on, that light will turn off. The goal is to turn all on, turn on all the lights. All right, let's do this. Ikimasho. But yeah, like I don't need the instructions. I mean, it's already just we just went through it. Like 
Unless somebody really didn't read through the conversation, then I guess that's how it goes. Alright, anyways. How do I move this? Okay, that was like the weirdest thing ever. I'm going for the simplest tricks. Because that's always the easiest for me. Wait, what? Oh, because... <laughs> Wait, is Digital Root 6, 7, and 8 actually just 6? I thought it was the other way around. The heck? Okay, let me let me do this again. I might have been stupid. I wasn't thinking that the Digital Root of of 6, 7, 8, not... Wait, no, it doesn't work. Oh, maybe I need to really get 1, isn't it? 1 and 2? I'm so confused. It didn't lit up. I'm so weird. It's so weird for me. I'm not calculating in my head, I'm just brute forcing it. I'm just like doing whatever I'm doing here. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. So three, four, five, seven, eight, nine gave me three, six. So <laughs> one, two, three, and six, seven, eight are six, or whatever numbers are. Yeah, six. And then seven, eight, nine still gives the digital root of six. That's hilarious to me. Alright, so we need digital root of one, which is ten. So what gives us ten? 5 and 4 is 9, which I don't need to do. Uh, 10 or... Oh, no, it's it only can be 10. Okay, so it's... Uh, 1, 4, 5. And then what gives me a digital root of 2? Is 11. Only 11, apparently. Or 20, actually. 11 and 20. <clears throat> so it needs six and five, I think. There we go. Cool. So yeah, that's that's where I'm just like I rather just start the three and six first because it's easier to just kind of determine those quickly a little bit, and then just get the rest with actual thinking. Uh, four. Four needs twenty-two or thirteen. 22 and 13. I'd say this, this, and this would give me 13. Yeah. <coughs> and then 5 would require 23 or 14? Uh, 14. How do I get... How, I'm trying to think of what the 14 looks like. 5 and 6 is 11. 11 plus 4 is 15. So no. Uh, 6 and 7 is 13, but it needs 1, but 1's already taken. Um, maybe I can hit up 7 first, actually. 7 requires 16, and I think 16 is still doable, at least. Which is... Uh, 4 plus... Two. Yeah, let's do 2, 4, and 7. No? Did it cancel each other out? Oh, if it did, I would be like, what the heck? I didn't think the digital root would be the same. That was my bad, then. Um, 7 would be... No, 4 would be... Uh, what was it, the number again? It's 1, 4, 9. 5. No, that's 4. That's, oh, jeez. That's 16. My bad. Actually, no, that is correct. To get 16, to get 7. Then let's try to do 8. Screw it. I'm just going to do backwards because I think my, my knowledge is, or my brain is still kind of in the morning setting. Uh, even though it's a little dim out there, it's like, it's raining, like heavy again, or raining. Not heavy yet, but it's still raining. Uh, but 8. 8 requires 17. Um, 8 requires 17. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm trying to think of, like, what the heck I'm thinking about. <laughs> 15. Let's try that. 15 plus 2. There we go. 
Wait, what? How does it get five? Huh? I feel like the math in the system is wrong for some reason. Four and seven. Okay, well, I don't know how I got five. Maybe my math is really off and I'm just like confused or if it's just... Something is funky at this game for for some reason. Okay, let's see. Let's let me think. Four, four is needing thirteen, right? That gives me thirteen for sure, which I did earlier. But it seems like it didn't trigger the number correctly, I guess, or that they calculated it weirdly, maybe. Maybe if you mix it up a lot. They end up calculating it very poorly. Um, but if you mix it in correctly, it's like, or in an ascending order, like one, three, five, nine, or something like that, it would it would work, kind of thing. All right, what's seven then? What would give me seven? Um, sixteen. Yeah. So I'm trying to think of the possibilities. 13, no. 12. But I need another 4 to get to 16 if that is the case. Uh, 10. Oh, okay, there it is. There we go. Yeah, because if I mix and match it too much, if I mix it, mix and match it too much, it seems like it just kind of goes like weird. In a weird way i don't know maybe i might have done it wrong i don't even know if the math is right or wrong anymore because my brain is just still in the morning mood all the lights are on and the shutters opened up <clears throat> hey does that mean yeah we gotta do it again man i thought i was doing so well okay so we got nine holes and there's an f up above them i don't know what that f means but i do know one thing what's that this time, there's nine holes. So, we need to insert all nine pins. Man, that's boring. Well, why don't you just try it, alright? Ooh, okay. No, I think you need to have it all equal to 16, I think. Because I, F, F was like the uh, hexadecimal for 16, I think. So, all of it needs to equal 16, I think. I think the center would be five at least. Uh, because I think that five is always the universal number to get everything balanced out properly. So what does it equal to 16, I guess? From there. Mm. Definitely need nine. Yeah, because this is basically Sudoku <laughs> a little bit. It feels like a little bit of a Sudoku kind of style like puzzle here. <laughs> so that's 14. 14 plus 2. 14 plus 2 is 16. Okay. Uh, what else does 2 need to get to 16? So we got 14. So we need something that adds up to 14. So 8 and 6. Like that. So that adds up to 14. So, But then 9 and 8 on the right side below is really bad. So let me switch this around. That's 15. So this one should be a 1. Right? So that's 16 right there. And then 5 and 8 is 13, which needs 3, which 3 goes up here. Uh, and then 9 and, tw 9 and 3 is 12. 12 needs 4. Oop, no, oh, I mean to admit, I misclicked. I misclicked on the, the right, right click. You think maybe this F means 15? 15? Yeah, 15 in base 10 is F in hex, right? 
You're right. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Alright, let's give this one more time. Give him one more shot. Okay, so they're saying 15, not 16. I thought it was 16. I always saw it as 16. What the heck? I misclicked pressing the right right click of a mouse when I was trying to get my hand back onto the mouse. <laughs> that was my fault. So if it's 15, then what the heck? It doesn't feel like it's asking me to be 15, though. Oh, no, no. Uh, I'm going to do 16 still because I think 10 is wrong a little bit, but I might be wrong and I wouldn't know it. 14 plus 2, yep. Yeah. And then this one's 8, if I recall it, and 6 over here. <coughs> and then uh, this one was 1. 13 is 3. 6. Oh, it wouldn't work. I see. Yeah, that would be a dead end. 12. 16. And then 4 plus 7 is 11. And yeah, that's not going to work. Yeah, it's not alerting it. Okay. All right, then I'll follow the suit of 15, I guess. Ugh. Okay, well, because if you look at the hexa decimal number frame, A is 10, right? So A is 10, B is 11, 12 is C, D is uh, 13, E is 14. I guess, yeah, that's 15. Okay, whatever. I guess I'm wrong. Uh, my B. All right, what would be here then? What adds up to 15? That's 15 right there. Let me do this in a more, like, num numerical way, I guess. <laughs> That's my numerical way, because I feel like this is, like, the number pad for the phone. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Uh, no, it wouldn't work if it's 8 here. Shoot. If it's 8 here, that's a dead end right there. So 8's got to be up here, one of these two. Uh, I'll do 8 here first. So that's 13, so this needs 2. So this is 11 on the right, or a uh, right uh, vertical. 11, so that's 4 up here. I guess this is a seven, nine. Oof, that's bad. Twelve, three right here. This is gonna be wrong. Yeah, because the left side vertically is not actually the number that needs it. Or is not the number that's correct. Hmm. But the 5 does seem to slot in everybody. Almost everybody. <coughs> if I think about it here. 15. 15. 15. 15. 9 plus 6 is 15 for sure. But then 8 plus 1. No, it is correct, isn't it? Oh, no, but then 9 plus 6 plus 3 is bad. Uh, shoot. Yeah, 6 and 8 would not be in a good roll with 9 at all, because that basically pushes it all the way out. Okay, let me do this all again. This time, let's use 6 as the base center. Center base, I guess. Because I think that that's... But then that's hard because 9 is already immediately there. So maybe 4 is the center. Uh, and then this would just require 2, I think. Uh, 13 plus 2 is 15. Yep, 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 yep. And then... Uh, 9 cannot take 8. Cannot take 7, cannot take 6, near it, at all. 
So my only possibilities are these two spots, apparently. Maybe 9 should not be a diagonal number, maybe? And that's probably why I just did something so stupid for myself. Yeah, 9 should not be a diagonal number, because that gives too much power to 9 being like in too many categories. Uh, so that's probably why I was very dumb. Very, very dumb to do that. Um, <clears throat> what does 9 need to get to 15 besides a 5? 4? I guess. 13, so that's 2. I might have to switch 4 and 2 if I need to, but... Uh, 4, 5, 6, I think, is 15. 6, 1 is 7. 7 needs to be... With 8, yes. And then 4, 8 is... 12, so it needs 3. There we go. Cool. Yeah, so I just needed to move the 9, because the 9 was way too way too heavy of a number uh, to calculate anything properly. So that's why the 9 needed to... Um, the 9 needed to do the... Like, the 9 needed to not be in the diagonal section, because diagonal gave, the, gave it too many numbers of a potential combination. Uh, more than the horizontal, like, row. Um, so, yeah, that was probably my bad. <laughs> because I wasn't thinking that that was the case. I was right. I just had 9 at the worst place. So, that's all I needed to do is just shift 9 and not shift the other numbers. <laughs> because I kind of did it adamantly, thinking that it should be this way. But it's just, my brain hasn't just registered that correctly, I guess. There we go. All pins inserted. All lights lit. We did it. The power's on now. It looks like the electricity's going on the monitor on the top now. Alright, let's see if we can activate the device on the top. Alright. The green button, uh, a green button, a red button, and a lever. I wonder what these do. I think this might help. What? What the hell is this? Where did he find this? What is that? Where'd you find it? I found it where you were mess messing around with the pinholes. I found it when you were messing around with the pinholes. It looks like the instructions for this thing. According to what it says here, this thing is a remote control for that. That? Yeah, that. Oh, it's the the box pusher. So it just yeah, because we we can't get into the fence area, so we need to like use that thing to push that thing out to give us the item we need from it, which is the coffin, I think. What's he pointing? Oh. That machine over there. Apparently it's called the Pushmaster 5000. Are you serious? Whatever. So what are we supposed to do with the Pushmaster 5000? You see the coffin over there at the top of the crates? Yeah? Don't you want to know what the deal is with it? I do. You want to check it out? Sure. Alright, how do you think we're gonna do that? Uh, well... Well, there are some crates on the side of the fence that someone piled up, like stairs. Maybe we need to make a path to the coffin from there. How would we do that? <coughs> Line it up. The crates. I guess? Yeah, that sounds about right. I guess that is another of Zero's puzzles. Yeah. Anyway, let's give it a shot. Oh, looks like the Pushmaster 5000 runs off of battery. So, to keep it from using its uh, using up its energy too fast, it's best. It's been programmed to that it'll only start moving once its path has been completely programmed. In. All right. I'll keep that in mind. New material has been added to the file screen. So he just, Santa just randomly found a file to help instruct how to use this thing. That's kind of ridiculous. All right, let's give it a try. Sure thing. Just keep in mind that there's a limit on the battery, all right? The battery dies after 50 moves. At least that's what it says in the manual. 50 moves? Huh. Also, keep in mind that the Pushmaster 5000 can't move the heavy crate, metal crates, okay? Got it. 
instructions for operation. When a square adjacent to the Pushmaster 5000 is clicked, the Pushmaster 5000 will move to that square. If there is a crate in the, in the way, the Pushmaster 5000 will push up to a single crate. Move the crates appropriately and efficiently and fill the yellow areas. All right, cool. Uh, but 50 moves, that's a lot. But then again, maybe that's my simple-minded head thinking, <laughs> thinking that it's going to be as simple as it should be. But no, it probably isn't. Do we need to really push the boxes to a certain pathway? I'm just curious about that. Jeez, the sound is so weird. Yeah, I guess that makes sense that this is going to be... Yeah, it's going to be like a very... Very lengthy process of it. I think I might have screwed myself though. Yeah, because this box on the top left is forever now stuck there so i'm gonna have to be careful with that it seems um no i wanna push this guy out I'm sorry I'm not speaking, I'm just trying to figure this out. Okay. I think it moves this guy first. Move this guy next. And then... Push that one in. Push that one up. Sh sugars. <laughs> I'm thinking sugars because I was just like, uh, <laughs> shoot, <laughs> I might have screwed myself again here. It may be worse this time because it's like, I don't know. This is a really weird one though. Oh yeah, I'm almost out of time too. Oof. Uh, for sure I think that the first step is to get this going. But the one thing that's slipping me up is how I would have to push uh, push the other boxes, push the boxes in the direction I needed to be. Okay. So that would be a good starting point. I might be running out of moves eventually, I think. So we'll see here. Yeah, that's dead already. Okay, back to this. I know, I know. Oh, wait, what does it say? The monitor shows the top, the top down view of the area where we can move the machine. Once I want to send my orders to the Pushmaster 5000, I just pull the lever. Okay. So we need to really just like... Oh, whoa. Why did it go up by one? <laughs> it says 51 now. I see. So they, they're being a little generous, at least, by giving you an extra one move because <laughs> you failed the first time. And it might not be an easy task. Kind of weird, though. I mean, I kind of almost had it, but the moves were really far off. There, that we go. Ooh, okay, I should have done this and then push this guy down. Can we still do it? Or can it still work, I guess? Oh no, then I trap myself because I don't have anything in the second slot. Yeah. 
I wouldn't have anything on the second slot to, to get the roll in. <clears throat> but it's kind of weird to me because it's like, couldn't we just jump it, you know? Like, jump across? It's not like it's a huge gap. We can just climb up and climb down, right? It makes no sense that, you know, we have to fill up all the gaps, which is the weird thing. Alright. I think I got it. I just need to get it executed properly in my head. Okay. Right there, instead. And right here. Push you down. I think that's it. I got it, I think. Bam, bam, bam. Woo! Yeah. Got it in one episode, at least. <laughs> I didn't really need a guide, still. Thank goodness. Okay. I'm done putting in the program. What do I do next? Just be quiet and watch. See? It's moving already. The chunk. Awesome. The Pushmaster 5000 did just what I told it to. And it lined up all the crates. Great. Now we can reach the coffin. We just need to climb those crates over to the fence. Over by the fence. Okay, cool. I will leave myself... I will leave myself with... Uh, with this in the next episode. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode, nobody minds. Hope you guys have a great, amazing day. Week and night, or whenever you're watching this. Uh, next episode, let's go ahead and... Get over this crate, get the coffin, and then move into the, the rest of the... The branch of this decision. Because apparently there is... We're closing in on another branch, uh, which is this bad boy right here. So we'll see how that goes, how that's gonna go. Um, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode or not. But you might hope you guys have a great, amazing day, week, night, or when you're watching this. Expo apologies if this whole episode is literally just the puzzle. I think I had a blast doing them. Obviously, some people may be, some people might be like, "Oh, Ross, do it this way. Come on, you can do it." Ah, da, da. Or they look up the guide and they just know the answer already, which can happen too as well. Like I do that sometimes, where I, where I watch a let's play and I'm like just watching people trying to solve the thing. They don't cut; they just like play out the whole thing, which I am gonna do here <laughs> in a weird way, where I don't cut my thinking and I'm just talking my my thought through to the whole thing. Um, it, it's a little bit of patience, I think. Some people might not have it. And that's f totally fair. Um, but that's, I guess that's what goes down when it comes down to these kind of things. Where we're just trying to, we're trying to like get the stuff going and stuff like that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching anyways. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Roz, out.